Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. It's always important to claim four hour crystals. That's a good way to start this video. Um, I didn't want to misspeak. I don't think I technically misspoke. But back in late November, early December, I was asked by a friend of mine in this community, Prof, is gifting debt? And I said no. Just for this event. But technically, the Lunar New Year gifting event is something that we still have and that we have every indication of doing and it's not something that you really can benefit that much from i had so many people gift me so many red envelopes and i don't think i got much more than some battle chips and some like small crystal shards Mainly like four star crystal shards, I think. It was very kind for people to do that, often without me even expecting it. It just would show up. But it was an event that was kind of cool, not game changing at all. And honestly, compared to so many other things in this game, I kind of forgot about it. But that leads us to a post from this past weekend, technically, I think Friday that is so randomly devastating that I don't really know enough to know how this was exploited. Apparently it was. Apparently those alt accounts and bot accounts that run arenas and still are not detected as much as we probably expect them to be, to a certain extent at least, they have caused another downfall of a great thing this is why we can't have nice things youtube my man herald of none one of the uh subscribers that sometimes will set his alarm or wake up at 3 a.m his time just to stop by and say hello uh in the live streams that i do on this channel said i have decided to take a huge step back from the marvel contest of champions after seeing this forum post which followed shortly after the Friday Kabam live stream, and this is of course from everybody's favorite, Kabam drop the mic. Clip says, no gifting for lunar event like normal. And again, maybe I'm just not doing this event right slash wrong enough, but I've never thought about this from a exploitation perspective. And yet, he said, no, we've had to give the final boot or we'd have to give that the final boot, I should say, due to exploitation and bot accounts. I don't think we'll see any form of gifting making a comeback at this point. This is why we can't have nice things. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not smart enough. Wouldn't be the first time, won't be the last to understand why this was such a bad thing. Every alliance I've ever been in, every year I've ever done this, it's just something kind of fun that you do for fun without purchasing anything and without getting a huge jump in progression. You're not even getting, I think, like tier 2 alpha and tier 5 basic from these. Most of what's in these feels like it was straight out of the game in like 2016, which is somehow eight years ago. But no... It's dead. It's done. And I, I think that sucks. Like, this really is unfortunate. I'm going to tell Harold of None the same thing I'm going to tell everybody else watching this. I don't think this event was worth it to quit over. Because I don't think it was really that great of an event to begin with. It was kind of cool for free. But because it wasn't that great to begin with, and because it was kind of cool for free, I am left confused at why... Bots exploited this to the point that no one could get a gifting badge. And it looks like bots and exploitation have killed the gifting badge for everybody. And I get that when it comes to gifting because that was like the Wild West for years and we saw Odin's turn to Hoden's. But this is not that. Kabam wasn't making any money off of this event. They were doing it as a favor to the community. And I'm sure we'll still have some version of it where they'll say, hey, Prof, we're still doing that. So don't misspeak. Don't overly criticize us. 
And I'll say, okay, but was it really necessary to take away the ability to gift these things? I just don't get it. Maybe it's an intelligence thing. Maybe I'm just too ignorant. If that happens to be the case, I get it. And I'm sure there'll be somebody in the comments of this video that says, ah, uh, Prof, the reason why it goes away is because some account got X amount of free such and such and it was totally unfair and they were set up for gold and ISO and who knows what else. Okay. But what percent of the community was that? Like less than one? Isn't it easier to punish those people than to punish everybody? Just a thought. Again, I'm not claiming to know any experts level on this. I'm just really sad.